Africa Global Radio. Okay, we are about to go talk about COVID-19. Let's see what the figures are looking like on the global front and then for Africa Day. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. Today is the 1st of February 2021. The world has recorded a total number of 103,557,049 COVID-19 cases. 75,164,169 people have recovered from the virus globally. And sadly, 2,238,513 people have died. Not a good news at all to these families who've lost their loved ones, people they may depend on, obviously, or their children, brothers, mothers, you know, fathers, cousins, nephews, and all of that, friends, and all. Condolences, our hearts goes out to all of you. But then again, there is uh, an opportunity to prevent future, you know, issues like this from happening, and all of these by being safe, okay? Now let's get to see what the figures are looking like on the continent of Africa. COVID-19 Africa. COVID-19 Daily Update. In Africa today, the 1st of February 2021, 3,585,676 people have the virus on the continent of Africa. And uh, 3,064,238 have recovered. Sadly, 91,079 have passed away. Rest in peace, all gone souls. To all the families who've lost their loved ones. Uh, in our base, Ghana, in the Akan language, they say, Mima Muyako. <laughs> I hope I said that correctly, AB. Right, but condolences to all of you. But like I said, there's always a chance for us to prevent future happenings, you know. I mean, we all know we will definitely die one day, but dying in such a manner sometimes is a big blow to the family, especially if this particular or the set person is the breadwinner. However, uh, Mauritius, Seychelles, Egypt, Morocco have started vaccinating their citizens from the various... Uh, Vaccines they've actually acquired from different pharmaceutical companies. So, yeah. But in our base, Ghana, yesterday, the president addressed the nation again. And uh, he made mention of the fact that Ghana will be expecting uh, their share or their, <laughs> their own part of the vaccine. Because he made mention prior to this particular address. He says that Ghana would, would not be left out. When it comes to COVID-19 vaccines. So yes, he confirmed it yesterday again by saying the vaccines would be made available in Ghana, our base, by March. So yes, uh, uh, yeah, that's the month where we observe our Independence Day. Yeah, 6th of March. But we don't know which particular day that would be. But then again, it would be available in March. However, the, the COVID-19 um testing is free at the moment but you would be required to pay a certain amount if uh you need it asap more if it's more of like an urgent thing yeah and uh, uh that so if, if you need it rapidly you you would need to pay something to expedite that but then at the moment covid 19 vac uh, testing is free in public health facilities in our base Ghana. South Africa is the epicenter on the continent of Africa with 1,453,761. people have died in South Africa, making it the highest in terms of the number of fatalities, people who have died in South Africa. I mean, exceed every country on the continent of Africa from COVID-19. Western Sahara still has 10 uh, making it the country with the lowest records of COVID-19 uh, infections. Yep, log on to africaglobalradio.com for daily updates of COVID-19. 